So I decided to go in for marketing um, because okay. I needed to, I, I wanted the business side of it. Right. You know, I wanted to be able to sell my stuff. You know, I came from, you know, the, the skateboard indie music DIY type thing. You know, yeah. I'm not, I'm not going to Marvel or DC. I'm making my own comic book company and publishing my own stuff. And, you know, I'm going to live in a van and it's going to have stickers on it. And, you know, it's going to be awesome. <laughs> the uh, dream. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. You know, the, 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 you know, the, the van dream, I think. Right. All, uh, all red blooded males. Have it's funny though. In the, van dream. the adult move was, I mean, that makes total sense. You're like, but I don't know how to market it. So I'm going to be taught how to market it. That was the adult yeah. side. And then you're like, so I can live in a van and put cool stickers and go skateboarding <laughs> all day. Like that's, that's the part where it's like, all right, dial it back there, kiddo. <laughs> <laughs> but, but no, that is very smart to go. You were going to grassroots it. So, and yeah. how, and how did, uh, working in marketing, uh, did it help? Uh, uh I would assume so, but so marketing lasted about a week. Really? Uh, oh, okay, I'm going to yeah. take back all that uh, thinking like an adult thing now. <laughs> yeah, no. So yeah, marketing lasted about a week, and I went, you know, with uh, tail and portfolio between my legs to the art department, and you know, kind of talked to the art dean and was like, "Look." I had this idea. It seemed like a good idea, but I, I want to go and I want to be, I want to do art. I don't want to do this marketing stuff. This is not for me. And he looked at this portfolio that everyone loved. Mm -hmm. And he said, maybe you want to stay in marketing. <laughs> oh my God. And I stopped drawing for about two years. Wow. I, uh, yeah. And it was, it was the first piece of resistance I had run into, you know, uh, from being this little kid that, you know, everybody loved to growing up as a teenager that had a horrible attitude, but everybody still loved me, you know, because I, I drew these funny pictures. Um, and I'm sure people are going to listen to this from high school and be like, we did not love you, Renee. What are you talking about? Yeah. <laughs> uh, you know, it, it, it was this first hit of resistance, and it was this first hit of reality that maybe being an artist was not going to be as easy of a ride as I thought it was going to be. Um, but and let, me, let me interject there, though. While that was like, a sick burn that the the marketing guy did to you like that was that was pretty like wow he nailed it um and not saying that your art sector something i'm just saying that was a pretty like his response was like wow he's he's a freaking stand-up comedian this guy um but in the sense that he was not your demographic he was not your target audience so of course he's not gonna but the thing too is for you to find that audience for you to get it out there knowing how to market what you do is actually kind of a, it, it makes his answer actually kind of brilliant. Like, I yeah. don't get this. You just showed me something going, check this out. I'm going back to art. And I'm like, what am I looking at? And yeah. that's, and that's the thing, even the way you handed it to him and saying, I need to go it, like, it actually was kind of a two tier response in the sense where it's it like, was. you need to figure this out because there probably are people that like this, but I'm not one of them. And you just handed it to me. Like I was going to go, kick ass go do that <laughs> so it, it's course, kind of interesting i didn't take it that way at all it was you know it was just a huge rejection and like i said i stopped drawing i i started writing at that point um and you know writing songs and writing um short story stuff mm -hmm. uh so i was getting my creative juices out um in that way you still but created comic, which is a good thing yeah the comic thing just still sat around the base of my skull and just gnawed at me. 